Sometimes I see a soft current density source implemented this way. In this implementation, we go through the entire grid and update the EZs, as usual. And then after that, we have a special update at the source, which includes all of the terms that we just developed. But the problem with this implementation is that the EZ field at the source has a double update. It's being updated in the regular update, since we're cycling through all the I's. And then it's being updated again here. So here is I max over 4, which should be also included in this loop. So if you double update the soft source this way, your code will go unstable. Other times I see the soft current density source implemented this way, as an if statement. So we go through all the easies in the grid, and we check. If we're at the source location, then we do the special update. Otherwise, we just do the regular update. This one will work, but it's highly inefficient. An if statement like this one, which occurs during the time stepping loop and also during the spatial loop, can really slow down the code because the computer has to check whether two numbers, i and i max over 4, are equal to each other for all values of i and also at every single time step. Therefore, to implement the soft source correctly and also efficiently, I recommend you just add on the extra term immediately after the EZs are updated. So you have something like this. For i equal 2 to i max minus 1, we're going to have regular updates all across the grid for all EZs. And end. So finish that loop. And then we've already taken care of this part of our update equation. So now we're going to take EZ at the location of the source. And we're going to set it equal to the value we just got from this updating, this regular update. Uh, but we're going to subtract dt over epsilon, which we could save that as a coefficient ahead of time, times the j, which is in our case, is the time waveform at time step n. So this is how I recommend you implement your soft source in the model. So now run your model with a soft source and see if it gets rid of the retroreflection of the wave on the left side of the grid at the location of the source.